Hey, congrats and welcome on in. Uh, congrats for, for requesting the SEO Keyword Bible. Uh, this is Trevor with Investor Care, and we're going to dive in. We've got an awesome training for you right now. But before you download the report below, you're going to want to make sure that you watch this training video because if you just download the keywords and you take it and run from there, you're probably going to spend 10 times more time uh, using those keywords than, than you should because I'm going to show you some SEO hacks that we use uh, to take out like 90% of, of all the SEO uh, thought process that, that most people put in because we really take the simple route and we get really good results. We're going to show you guys uh, how to use those keywords that you're going to get in that report to get great results on your own website. And once again, congrats, you can download that keyword report below. Um, I'd suggest you, you can either download it now and kind of put it away on your on your computer or download it after this video because I'm actually going to show you those keywords in this video as well. And I'm going to show you a lot of the concepts. There are going to be some concepts that are taught in that uh, report, the keyword Bible that I'm not going to teach here just for, for time's sake. But download that after this, this workshop or download it now and hide it away. And then be sure to carve out about 30 minutes for this training call because I'm going to show you everything that we do in, in my business, in, in, in our business to help other real estate investors to get great rankings in Google. And it's not as hard as most people make it out to think. There's no real secrets, guys. I'm going to show you some really cool tools, some simple stuff to make it happen. And keep watching the short training video, like I said, to learn the SEO shortcuts we use with these keywords to get our own sites ranked well in Google with like a quarter of the effort. Um, so one big question that, that a lot of people ask me, and, and I should ask you this because this might be in your mind right now, is can SEO really work to get leads? Is it worth it? We get that question all the time. And yes, that's a loaded question. That's definitely a loaded question because I already know the answer. Um, I've been using what I'm going to teach you in this video for the past five years to generate leads online. And in fact, between all of my sites combined, both in real estate and outside of real estate, they generate between 12 and 34 leads every single day just through SEO. And that's not even mentioning the 10 to 27 or so leads per day we're generating through Facebook using lead pages, which if you stick with this in this series, I'm going to show you how to use effective lead pages. I'm going to show you effective lead page designs that we're using in Facebook right now to generate cash buyer leads, to generate leads in other markets. But I talk with investors every single week who say they're not sure SEO really works in the real world because their past experience with trying SEO hasn't gotten them anywhere, frankly. Uh, if you're one of those people, which you definitely may be, awesome. I'm going to show you a simpler way to do it. And just so you know, you can let your guard down because the because you so you can get the most out of this training because there's nothing for sale in this video, guys. Just tips, tools and guidance that, that you can actually implement today. So put your guard down. There's nothing for sale. Take out the notes. Uh, so to show you it works, I decided to do the only logical thing that came to my mind and that was to test it out. Uh, so starting from scratch and to show you how I did it step by step, that's really what I want to do here is, is start from where uh, someone would if they had basic or very little SEO knowledge and put up a website really quickly and get it ranked quickly and get leads coming. And that's what I wanted to do to, to, to show you that it can be done. So a few months back, I set up this website and this website is actually for my business. It's for one of my rental properties. So I'm using our system, Investor Care, to, to set up a quick website um, so we can run this test, but also so I can get tenant leads for that property. Okay, And I'm going to take you online to that site in a few minutes, but first we're going to dive into some other stuff. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to walk through the case study in detail so you can follow along and I'll show you the actual website in a minute. Like I said, I'm going to take you online. The keywords I went after, the exact keywords I went after, how I chose those keywords strategically using what I call my mind reader method. And it's a lot a lot simpler than most people are, 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 are doing right now to choose their keywords. The simple steps I took, uh, I did that took less than 60 minutes to get, to get that page uh, one ranking within 10 days. So I did about 60 minutes of work on this website. Uh, probably 20 to 30 minutes of that was SEO related. And within 10 days of actually setting up that website, we got a page one ranking. Now the, the, the rankings are kind of going around a little bit and I'll show you that here in a bit, but the leads have started to come in. And the simple tool, I'm gonna show you the simple tools that I used to do this. I'll show you some of the leads as well. So. Does that sound like a plan? If so, grab a note and, and pad. Uh, if you have a, a glass of water, grab a glass of water. It's like so this can be about a 30 minute training and it's going to really dive in in simple, simple stuff. I'm not going to show you the, the deep down SEO stuff. I know you're not an SEO guru. You probably don't want to be. I'm going to show you what the average Joe can do to change the way that their current website ranks in Google. Or if you don't have a website to show you what to do to get a website up online and get it ranked in Google decently quick. Okay. 
So can SEO really work to get leads? That's the question I asked you earlier. Uh, here's some stuff from that website. So this was September 19th. So from the time that I'm filming this video, it was about four days ago. I took that screenshot uh, today. So here's an email that, that our system sends to us whenever we get a lead. Okay, it says, you know, congrats, you got a brand spanking new tenant lead from your forum on blah, blah, blah. And it shows the website. So this is Spencer. He's looking for a two-bedroom apartment. Uh, nine days ago, congrats, another one. This is from Parker, a two-bedroom apartment. And there's a whole list of leads here. You can see this is just some of the ones I was able to tag and, and bring in my Gmail account. Every one of those new Cisco tenant leads that comes into my email box are leads that happen 100% through SEO. I'm going to walk you through step-by-step step what I did to make that happen. And the beauty is that you can do this like I'm doing it right in this case study with uh, a rental property to get tenants, okay? And then I'm forwarding those, those tenants over to my property manager so he can fill the units. But we have a lot of wholesalers doing the exact same thing, short sailors, commercial investors, all kinds of different stuff, guys. So it's the same concepts. You just choose what kind of leads you want to get and apply that. And to, to prove it, here's one of our, our members from Investor Care. And this is not a pitch for Investor Care on this training. This is 100% content. But this is one of the members he forwarded over to me. And this is a lead that he got. And this would have been July 22nd, about three weeks after he did what I'm going to teach you. And uh, this is one of their motivated seller leads replying back to the emails that our system sends out to the customer. Okay, uh, So this, this person, Laura and Ed, they went through the website, found it through SEO. So I'm not sure which site you're referring to. However, if possible, we'd like to sell this property as soon as possible. Thank you for your time and consideration. And, um, and our customer forwarded that to us because uh, he had a question about how to update the autoresponder email that went back to him because that email is so darn effective it gets a little over half of, of everyone who actually opts in to respond to the email, which is great. So this works for wholesaling as well. So the answer is emphatic yes, <laughs> okay. When, but when you simplify it and stop making it hard on yourself and use the right tools, that's a biggie, okay, because a lot of people make it way too hard on themselves. So. I'm going to introduce myself really quick, and then we're going to dive in. But I'm your instructor today. Uh, my name is Trevor Mock. I'm the founder of Investor Carrot. I'm an investor and entrepreneur. Um, I'm more of a, a cash flow, buy and hold kind of guy. I've done a couple wholesale deals in the past, a couple of commercial. Um, but I'm a buy and hold guy. The most recent property I bought was a few months back, and we actually set up a, a, a website for that. We're doing SEO the same way I'm going to show you here for that, and it takes literally minutes. There's my LinkedIn page. Come join me. Uh, so fancy stats, it generated a little over 70,000 real estate leads online and all, a little over half of it's probably been through SEO. I've been a passive real estate investor since 2004 and I'm really passionate about entrepreneurs and, and we created an, an 8,000 square foot entrepreneur co-workspace here in Roseburg, which is where I'm at right now. And that's, that's my office right now. You see the brick wall, you see the big carrot in the background, all kinds of stuff. We're at, um, at the entrepreneur co-workspace and it's really exciting working around other entrepreneurs. And I love traveling, mountain biking, hanging out with my beautiful wife and kids. But you don't want to know about all the trips we're going on and, and uh, you know the vacation time I'm taking, stuff like that. What you want to know about is what you can do to better your situation, get your websites ranked well. So you can start to get some more leads coming in, hopefully through SEO. So with that said, you know I've generated a lot of traffic, a lot of leads online. But I started off just like everyone, just like you with no traffic. And here's my very first website in the real estate market. I actually launched it uh, in June of 2007. And you can see it there on the left side, uh, Trademark Real Estate Solutions. That's the name of my company. And that's back when uh, I, was, I was young and green and I thought I wanted to do wholesaling. Um, I, 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 before that, I bought my first uh, rental properties. And then I really decided, you know what, buy and hold is for me. But this is where I cut my teeth on. Uh, SEO and building websites that convert for investors. So this was my website. It looks like crap, but it got leads. That was the thing. It got leads, and I and the only way that I could really drive leads was learning how to uh, make make the website pop up in the search rankings. If you want to verify it, this website is actually down now because I'm not. You know, this isn't my business model anymore. But you can go to the Internet Archive. Uh, it is archive.org. Type in trademark re solutions.com and you can see the the proof there that that's where I grabbed this screenshot and you can see right there in 2007 of June, June 10, 2007 is when the Wayback Machine uh, tagged this. So that was my start and I didn't have any money for advertising. So learning how to get my site ranked well and drive traffic other ways was my only option. And over the years, we've, we've gone through the gauntlet of SEO updates from Google, and you've probably seen the same thing, you know, all the way from the Google Penguin updates that were really cracking down on the link schemes and keyword stuffing and all kinds of stuff, over-optimization. If that means nothing to you, don't worry about it. You don't have to know that kind of stuff, guys. 
and the Google Panda updates. There's 25 Panda updates and counting. And you know the the cool thing is, well, all that sounds daunting, which it is. It's daunting trying to keep up with Google. I'm gonna I'm gonna simplify it for you and showing you my simple SEO hacks that make that take little time but get great results. Okay, so you don't need to know about all the updates. If you do things the right way and, and use these tools, I'm gonna show you. It makes it a lot easier on yourself. You don't care what what updates Google comes out with. Okay. So first I'm going to spend 45 seconds on the SEO basics and then we're going to dive into this case study, show you the website, show you exactly the keywords that, that I targeted, how I did it in the simple SEO hacks. Okay, So first of all, here's this little chart that I found online. It's got 10 you know, uh, search engine optimization process points in there, which to me that is just crazy, right? You've got the initial analysis, keyword research, competitor analysis, site map, feed inclusion, search engine directory submission, social bookmarking, blogs and press release, article submission, link popularity, SERP report. If that's making your head spin, you're not alone, okay? That makes my head spin and I know a good uh, bit about SEO. But the cool thing is that the reason why I'm excited about this training video for you is we really only focus on a couple of these 10 points and we still get great results. Um, we still get leads coming in. The website that I'm going to show you that... that um, the one with my rental property, we only did two of these 10 points and we're getting leads from it. Okay, so don't think that you have to drive all kinds of links and submit articles everywhere and write blog posts. Of course, if you write blog posts, that helps. But built into our investor care system, a lot of this stuff happens for you with the, the site map and feed inclusion and social bookmarking um, and, and, and stuff like that. Okay, so what does SEO mean first? If, if, if you're totally new to search engine optimization, you don't even have a website online, what does it mean? Uh, search engine optimization is the process of affecting the visibility of a website or a web page in a search engine's natural or unpaid search results. In general, the earlier or higher the ranked in the results, the more frequently people are going to click on your site and get there. Okay, and this is from Wikipedia. So to break it down into really simple terms, by giving Google and other search engines what they want, Google will reward you with higher rankings, and Google gives you the tools to find out exactly what you need to to do get to, to get that traffic that'll turn them into customers for you. It ain't rocket science here, folks. And I'm going to show you the, the free Google tools that we use, and I'm going to show you some of the other tools that we use to make it dead simple once you find those keywords. So some things we're going to go over today briefly, and I don't have a lot of time because mainly today I'm going to go over the keewords and what to do with those keywords. But there's you know URL factors, so you want to make sure that your URLs are search engine friendly, um, stuff like that. Like I said, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this. There's the on-page factors, which I am going to spend a little bit of time on because this is important. And I'm going to show you the, the hacks that you can do. Uh, that's content relevance. Like, is the content on your page relevant to what the person is going to Google and searching? If the person is going to Google and searching, you know, sell my house fast in Phoenix, can Google tell your house, your, your website is about that? And keyword density, that, that sounds like a really fancy term, but that's, that's a matter of Google saying, okay, how many times in this web page is the keyword in there? And the thing is, guys, when you use the right tools, you don't have to worry about this stuff. You just let the tools show you guys what to do. And I'm going to show you the tool that we built for that. And I'm going to show you some free tools. And then there's off-page factors, uh, you know, links, stuff like that. I'm not going to show you guys that because in this example, I didn't even do any of that. So it's just to prove you don't have to do that kind of stuff if you don't want to. Um, social factors, you know, this is kind of given. If you get likes and, and Google Plus and tweets on, on your page, uh, then that's great. It helps with SEO. Okay, so we're not going to spend much time on that. But the biggest mistake investors make, and this is something that we've been working with a lot of investors the last year uh, with their websites and helping them rank better and, and uh, helping them get better results and more leads. The biggest mistake they make, even when we go through and help them fix these in the first place, some of them change it back. I'm not sure why they do but the biggest mistake is the keywords. So let's reverse back to the SEO keyword Bible that you came here for. Uh, you can download that below. Like I said, I'd, I'd wait until after this video so then you can really digest what those keywords mean. But the keywords in that Bible are one of the big keys that's going to help you rank well. Okay, And we put this resource together for one big, 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 big reason. I'm glad you, you've had a chance to get access to it. Choosing the right keywords can make or break whether... You'll generate a qualified lead on online ever. Um, we have a lot of people who have websites up. They've had them up for years, and they go, "Man, I've never ever got a lead uh, online from SEO." And my my answer to them is, uh, "Well, you, what are your keywords? What are you what are you trying to target? And how are you doing that?" And they're like, "Well, you know, I'm not doing anything." 
Then I go to their website and in their main keyword that they're optimizing for is their company name. You know, and I'm going to show you guys just simple hacks to get rid of that on your website so you can start to rank better uh, today. And the funny thing is, or, or I guess scary if you don't know how to do it, when you have the right tools, it's dead simple and no guesswork involved to get those right keywords and to optimize your pages, okay? Even if you have no clue about SEO. But 9 out of 10 real estate investors get their keywords wrong, like I was saying. They get frustrated wondering why there's no traffic and leads to their site. They blame it on the website or they blame it on, you know, that the SEO doesn't work. And most end up giving up on their website altogether. And when if they would just do what I'm about to show you in this video, it would almost instantly turn their website around and they'd see it start to climb uh, up the Google ranks and rankings each and every month, like this investor saw. His name is Mark Palladino, and he's an investor out of uh, Connecticut. He emailed me earlier uh, in 2013, uh, said, that's perfect if I ever blah, blah, blah. I'm curious, how long would it take you guys to, to do SEO for me to get ranked high? Right now, I'm on page 19 for, for this particular search term. Okay, and he's saying, I assume pay experts to do it, but how many hours would you need? And, and just a, a quick disclaimer, guys, we don't do SEO uh, service for people. Um, so this isn't a sales pitch for that, okay? And then look at this. So May 14th, this is a little less than a few months later. Uh, he says, hey, Trevor, how you doing? Just wanted to let you know that I haven't done anything other than what you guys did in my site. Uh, it's coming up on page one, number 10 position. <laughs> and then look at this. So May 23rd, you know, a week or two later, the site is now on number one, page uh, page number one, number five position. And then here's the email I sent him about a month after that, or a few weeks after that. Um, and then he was at number two for We Buy Houses CT, We Buy Houses Connecticut, stuff like that. So it works, guys. And all we did to his website, and that that is, you know, we, we did do the service for him, but we're doing the exact same, we did the exact same thing I'm going to show you in this video. All we did to his website is find the right keywords and go through his system, which he's using Investor Carrot, update it using our SEO grader tool, and it worked. So let's look at those keywords and see why some, some of those keywords get leads and some don't. So here's some cash buyer keywords, and these are inside of that keyword report, guys, okay? So over here to the right, you're going to see this is from the Google, the Google Keyword Tool, which they've actually recently changed. We're going to have to do a new video in a couple weeks showing the new Google Keyword Tool, which I think is actually even more complicated. But anyway, over here to the right, you see a bunch of keywords, okay? That inside your, your keyword Bible, I explain what these keywords mean. I explain how to use these. But these keywords, we've done the research for you, and, and the keywords here for cash buyer, we, we like to optimize for investment properties. So the big tip here, guys, is look at that local monthly searches column way over to the right. That's where the gold is, okay? What the local monthly searches means is is, is the number of times across the country that when that keyword is typed into Google, there's a local city or state before or after the keyword. So as example, investment properties get searched um, about 90,500 times in the local monthly searches, okay? That means nine over 90,000 times uh, during e each month, people are typing in investment properties in Phoenix, Phoenix investment, investment properties, okay? So if you add your city name before or after these keywords in the keyword Bible, um, it's going to increase the quality of your traffic and it's going to increase your chances of ranking. Too many people try to go broad. Too many people uh, say, I, yeah, I'm an investor in the whole country and they, and, they, and they totally lose their chance of ranking well to get any leads online. Okay, So don't try to rank for investment properties. Don't try to rank for foreclosure properties. Try to rank for Phoenix foreclosure properties, for foreclosure properties in Phoenix. Um, you know, investment properties in Duluth, Duluth investment properties. Bank-owned properties in Duluth, okay? That's where the gold is, guys. That's what we do is we do some quick keyword research at our city before or after it, and then we optimize it showing the tools I'm going to show you here in a bit. So some motivated seller keywords. And this really reveals how people are searching online. Um, and are you optimizing for the keywords that will produce any real quality traffic? You know, most investors aren't. And be, guys, one thing I want to do really quick here is, is reverse. If you're feeling totally overwhelmed here, don't worry about it because this next step, when I when I take you online and show you how dead simple it is, it's a two-step process. I'm going to show you where to find the keywords and, and my, my simple quote-unquote mind reader technique. And then I'm going to show you what to do with that keyword. Okay, and it's really dead simple, guys. So don't try to get overcomplicated with this. Even if you don't think you have the time for SEO, spend one hour on your website doing what I'm going to show you today. And that will help boost your SEO uh, rankings big, big, big time. Okay, If you don't have an hour to invest in, in giving yourself a better shot, at least getting some leads, then uh, you might want to look at a different business to go into. 
but motivated seller. So we see, you see, we buy houses, cash for houses, cash for my house, sell my house fast, sell my home fast. So one thing that, that you really need to understand is that people search for things differently than you may uh, think people search for in your mind, okay? So do you think that people use the word house or the word home in their searches? We can see here, sell my house fast versus sell my home fast, sell my house fast gets searched more, okay? And, and, and to me, the reason for that probably is people, when, when you have a really emotional connection to your house, you call it a home, right? When, when you lose that emotional connection, like people who need to sell their house, they transition it over to house, okay? So they start to search sell my house fast. So you're uh, gonna have a better chance of getting more traffic if you're optimizing for sell my house fast Duluth than sell my home fast Duluth. But both are viable keywords, right? And then you have, you've got the foreclosure keywords, avoid foreclosure now, stop foreclosure, stop my foreclosure, um, stopping foreclosure, foreclosure help. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of stuff. So this right here, guys, we usually take three, four, five of these and help our clients optimize for these. We, we optimize for the We Buy Houses because you can see it gets over 22,000 local monthly searches a month, which this means once again, someone's going and typing Seattle We Buy Houses or We Buy Houses Seattle. And I never, ever would have thought that that many people were going to Google and typing We Buy Houses in a city. Now, I thought We Buy Houses were just for us, us investors for our marketing, right? But when we do this research, we find that people see the marketing everywhere. They, they're seeing the billboards. They're seeing the TV commercials, the bandit signs, and they all say We Buy Houses. They're going online and they're going, man, I need to sell my house. I know a lot of those things, those ads out there always say We Buy Houses. So I'm going to find those We Buy Houses people. We Buy Houses Seattle. And they're going to find whatever pops up, number one, two, three, four, five in the, in the search ranking, go with them, all right? Hugely, hugely important. And private lenders. So tip, using using your website to recruit private money can be a really touchy thing with the SEC. So one of the, the ways, if this is what you want to do, which we are helping some some companies do this right now, if this, if this is what you want to do, I highly suggest you create some good resources on your website and, and try to rank them for these keywords. Okay, private money lending in Oregon, private money lending in Los Angeles, and then write out a, a content-based post you know, or page or resource on what private lending is in Los Angeles, the, the process, stuff like that. Don't talk about your program in there though. But use your blog and write a post on each one of these keywords. If that's what you're really wanting to do is, is get uh, private lender uh, leads through the internet, this is one of the best ways. Do the keyword research, grab these keywords we've already given you and write a, a blog post called um, buy real estate in IRA in Phoenix. Uh, Self-directed IRA for real estate and Phoenix, you know, whatever your city is. Okay. There's there's more in the keyword in the SEO keyword Bible, so read it after this video from start to finish. I don't have time to go over it in this video. But now what do you do with those keywords? And that's the important thing. So I'll show you online one of my own active websites, the one I talked about before, and the simple 10 minute SEO hack I use to rank my own sites in Google. And if you're interested, let's go ahead and 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 dive back to this this case study. So back to the test. So the test criteria that I ran when I set up this website earlier this year, that I couldn't spend any money on ads or SEO help. Okay, I had to do it all myself. Must do only what someone starting from scratch has the access to, uh, which you know I, I, I can't use my other websites to link to it. I can't use my email list to drive traffic to it, stuff like that. Okay, I had to pick a keyword that gets enough searches to generate leads. And that, that's a big time cr criteria. We don't want to pick keywords that get one search a month because then your, your chance at, at getting hardly any traffic um, is, is not very good, right? Which is why we put those keywords in the SEO Keyword Bible because we already found a bunch of keywords that don't get much traffic and we, we put the ones in there that get enough traffic to produce leads for you. Um, and, and, and to produce enough leads each week, that was a criteria of mine, which you saw before when I showed you that screenshot, every single week we are getting leads through SEO, even though we're not ranked number one for that term right now. We, we were as high as number three. Now I'll show you where, where we are here in a bit. Um, and only using free tools plus our investor care at SEO Grader, which I'll show you built into our system, and I'm going to uh, talk about more on that later. So we're going to dive on online right after the slide. But if you're liking this training video so far, guys, please, please, please go below, hit like, please post me a comment, um, post me a comment, uh, an, an SEO issue you're having, an SEO question, and heck, if you want to post that your actual website on there, and you want me to go through and do an SEO review, post it in there. I check these comments all the time, guys. I'll dive in and do as many of those SEO reviews for you as I can 
directly through the comment section. So put your website in there. I'll go through and give you an SEO review really, really quickly. But like this page right now. I'll wait for you. While I'm pointing here, right, like this page, and then we're going to dive online, okay? Like it, and I appreciate it, guys. So let's go ahead and, and, and dive online now. Okay, here we go. So I'm on my web browser right now. And here's the website that we've been talking about for this case study. And I'm going to kind of bounce around here a little bit, guys. I'm going to go as fast as I can for, for sake of time and hit me with questions below because I know I'm not going to be able to cover everything. But here's that website. It's klamathfallsapartments.net. Um, and uh, it's it's for one of my rental properties in the small town of Klamath Falls, Oregon. It's about 25,000 people, okay? So if I can get leads in a town of 25,000 people for an obscure thing uh, as you know apartment rentals near a college – then you guys can get leads in any one of your cities as well, okay, for wholesaling or whatever it is. So here's the website. This is built on our, our on our Investor Carrot platform. I'm not going to talk about that today. I'm just going to show you on the SEO side of things, okay. Nice, clean-looking website. You know, we did go through and optimize the page based on what our SEO grader told us. I'm going to show you what happens there, okay. But what I'm going to show you here is, so I went to Google here, and I'm just going to go ahead and type in Clam Falls Apartments. And we were, you can see there's 409 competing results, 409,000, sorry, competing results. And we actually got this website ranked on num uh, page number one within 10 days of buying the domain name and setting it up on the Investor Care system. Okay, I'm not going to guarantee that that's going to happen with everyone, but the thing is that we chose our keywords wisely, and that's why that's why we're, we put out the keyword report. Because when you when you choose your keywords wisely and optimize them correctly on your page, and just do the simple things to optimize them, like I'm going to show you here, you have a better chance of ranking well. If you're going after Phoenix Investment Properties and you're expecting to rank there in, in a month, good, good luck. It's not going to happen. It's going to take a little bit more work because so it's a, a more competitive market. Okay, but anyway, so we were as high as page three, and when, when that ha or number three and page one, when that happened, you know, we were getting one to two leads a day through the through the website, and uh, we've been bouncing around. There's been a recent Google update. Uh, that usually takes a couple weeks for things to settle back in, and 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 we've been climbing back up. So right now we're on the first part here of page two. And the cool thing is, like I showed you before, we got a lead four days ago, so we're still getting leads even though we're on page two in Google. Imagine when we when we climb it back up and use uh, even more uh, SEO stuff. Okay, so that's the the current search results. So the first thing you're going, going to want to do, guys, and then I'm going to take you inside of this is I'm going to show you how you can do it inside of Carrot uh, to to use the SEO grader tool to have it tell you what you need to do to your page to optimize it. And I'm also going to show you, hey, if you don't if you don't have Investor Care or don't want to have Investor Care, awesome. You can do this on your own website very very easily as well. So traffic sources. So here I'm I'm logged inside of my Google Analytics account and just to prove you that we are getting traffic and I didn't make those leads up. And this is a low volume thing, guys. So in the past month. There's been 55 people that have visited this website. Okay, 55 people, and I'm on page two of Google right now. And like I said, I was on on number three and page one. I got a lot more, double or triple that traffic. But for this past month, 55 people. And you can see um, by far the vast majority of all traffic is search traffic. Okay, you can see right here. There's there's no. Um, you know, there's hardly any referral traffic, guys, which is from other websites. Direct traffic is people typing it in uh, directly in, in, in Google, which may be people you know, following the, the, this example here and typing into Google to check it out. But the vast majority of the traffic is search traffic. Okay, And you can even see some of the keywords. Uh, Clam Falls Apartments is coming up. We've got traffic from that. Apartments near OIT. Here's a whole list of keywords that are coming up uh, that are that we're getting rankings for. And we only optimize one page in this entire website. Okay. So the first thing you're going to want to do, guys, is go ahead and go to Google and type up this Google Keyword Tool. Okay. It's a free tool from Google. You can go ahead and click the first thing. And like I said, they just, like within a weeks of doing this video, they just updated the, cool, the the keyword tool and they got rid of the old version, which I really, really liked the old version. Uh, this new version I'm still getting used to, so bear with me as we go through it here. Um, but you open it up, you're going to need an AdWords account, which is free. All you have to have is a, a, a Gmail account and you can set up a free AdWords account. It takes a couple minutes. And then you're going to log in. Okay, and I'm not going to, I don't have time to go in the in-depth detail on how to use the Google AdWords tool. Um, you know the Google AdWords planner. We can do a separate video on that and upload it here into this training area if you want. But I'm just going to show you what I did. 
So what I call the mind reader method is, is close your eyes right now So and figure out what market you're in. Are you in? Are you a wholesaler? Are you looking for tenants? Are you um, a person who buys multifamily properties? Are you a lease option person and you're looking for t tenant buyers? What is the person who is your ideal customer? What are they thinking? What problem do they have? And what, comes, what do you feel comes in their mind when they're going to go to Google and look for what you've got? Uh, just, just think of that. Uh, for me, if, if I'm trying to rent my apartments, what, and, and it's in a town called Klamath Falls, the first thing that I personally would type if I'm looking to do that is I would type Klamath Falls Apartments or Klamath Falls Apartments for rent or Klamath Falls Apartments near this school called OIT. Okay, and once once Google updated this to this new tool, the average uh, monthly searches went down a lot in their report. Before it was around a thousand for Clam Falls Apartments, and this one was about seven fifty. So I think that since this tool is so new on their side, that their that their numbers a little bit skewed now, because if there's only two hundred and sixty monthly searches and we're getting fifty five uh, visits on that page and we're on page two, the numbers just aren't right. You know, we're getting more traffic than we should if there's only 260. So these numbers, I'm sure Google will, will work them out as they really uh, tweak this tool since they just released it. But anyway, according to this example, so Clam Falls Apartments gets searched 260 times a month according to this current search. Clam Falls Apartments for rent gets searched 90. So if you had, if you ranked number one, number two, or number three in Google for Clam Falls Apartments for rent, and you had a four unit building or a 20 unit building or whatever it is, the way that the numbers work out according to studies is about 66% of all searchers will click the first result in Google. Okay, so if you're if you're number one in Google and uh, there's 260, let, let's let, yeah, there's 260 um, searches a month for that term, you're gonna get you know 150, 200 clicks to your website. From there, how many leads do you think you can get if your website's actually any good? On the next training video, guys, I'm going to show you how to use lead pages and how to create pages that convert. I'm going to show you specific examples. You're actually even going to be able to download one of our lead pages that's working. Okay, that's in the next video, so keep an eye out. But on this this video, of course, we're focusing on traffic and SEO. So if you can rank number one in the top five in Google for a keyword term that has at least 200 searches a month, you're going to be getting some traffic and getting some leads if you're if you're using a website system that works. Okay, so that's the first thing is go th go through the Google Keyword Tool and find out what types of keywords are there are out there that people are searching where there's traffic. Okay. So here's another one, Clam Falls Apartments for Rent. So I decided to, to focus on this one right here, Clam Falls Apartments, because it's got more traffic there. And this could be like a secondary keyword for me that I can make another page on it or something. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this. I'm going to go ahead and log into my account on Investor Carrot, which, which, is, you know, which is what houses this website. I'm going to go ahead and go down two pages. I'm going to open up my homepage. Okay, and the homepage is the only page that we've optimized on this entire website. And like I said, it's it's rank, it's getting rankings, getting leads every single week. We optimize one page, guys. It took 60 minutes. Okay, 60 minutes max. So don't think that you've got to do all kinds of crazy SEO stuff. If you do this one thing, use the Google Keyword Tool. Spend 10, 15 minutes on it. Find a keyword that's targeted enough for your specific area. It should have the, the name of your location in there, your city, and you know, whatever the people are looking for. Uh, Climate Falls Investment Properties or whatever, okay? Then you choose the keyword that you want to focus on in your homepage. And you go to your website and you optimize that homepage for that one keyword. So in Carrot, we've made that simple. We have this this tool we call the SEO Grader tool, and we in 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 Carrot, and you can do this on your on your own uh, system as well, guys. Carrot, we've just optimized the process and made it faster, and made it to where we tell you what you need to do to, op to optimize your page. But like I said, you can go through and use the same concept I'm teaching you on any website. So the first thing you're going to do is take that keyword that we took out of Google and paste it in there. Okay, and you can see our system actually pulls up other suggested searches. We grab it right out of Google, and and these are actual terms that people are typing into Google every single month related to this term. So Clam Falls Apartments near OIT, Clam Falls Apartments Rent, Craigslist, Clam Falls Apartments for Rent. So these ones right here, we could actually create different pages on each one of these keywords. Uh, OIT, Clam Falls Apartments, OIT is a college in town. We could create a new uh, post or page on, on each one of these keywords and optimize it the same way I'm going to show you. And that would that would probably triple the quadruple my traffic. I haven't had time to do it. So that's first. 
put the keyword in your focus keyword, or if you're not using this system, uh, make this keyword your title tag. If you don't know what a title tag is, go to Google and type up SEO title tag to learn. Uh, so then, the, the, the next thing we're going to do is take that keyword and we're going to make our title tag. And this right here, guys, is the biggest, biggest mistake that I mentioned on the presentation earlier that investors are messing up. So if you've got your keyword right and it's targeted toward a specific location, Klamath Falls Apartments, we're not just putting Oregon Apartments or Apartments, we're doing Klamath Falls Apartments because the person most apt to rent our apartment is probably looking for a Klamath Falls Apartment, right? So take that keyword, make that the very first thing in your title tag, the very first thing. You can see it there. Next, this is just a preference for me. If you start to use this, this will really ramp up your results. Find a secondary keyword like our system uh, you know, chose, showed me Clown Falls Apartments for rent. So that's the secondary keyword. Put a secondary keyword right after that. Okay. So I like to use a dash, then the secondary keyword, and then dash the name of your company. That's the perfect title tag that, that, for me. That's, that's what works for me. Okay. Next, we're going to make our meta description. And this is just what shows up right here. So when you're searching Google, what is it that shows up underneath the link? The cool thing is most people don't know, but you can actually control what this says. And we make it easy for you to control what that says through your meta description. And the cool thing, again, is that, is that when you control what this says, it's almost like writing your own ad. You're trying to sell someone to, to click your website. Okay. So all you want to do here is take your keyword that we found in the Google Keyword Tool, put it in your meta description somewhere. So you can see I put looking for Klamath Falls Apartments for rent near OIT. You can see I mixed in several keywords in one. Check out a two bedroom, one bath, blah, blah, blah. Take a tour. Okay. So that's step one, guys. That right there, if you do that, you're going to get ahead of 95% of all investors in your market. Okay. Choosing the right keyword and then making your title tag and description in your website. If you use WordPress, it's really easy. Uh, just Google, Google how to update title tag and WordPress and you can see it. Like I said, our system uh, is built off of similar code to WordPress, but we've really ramped it up and, and put in SEO tools to make it easier. So the next thing you want to do is so we've made the title tag, we made the description. Now we need to optimize our content. Okay. So this is what to do with the keywords as well. So we've, we've, cho we've chosen our, our main keyword to focus on. And here's the content for that page you can see. What you're going to want to do next is there's some certain guidelines you want to follow. Uh, first of all, you want to make sure that your post is over, your page is over 300 words ide ideally, okay? Google really likes to see stuff at least 300 words in length to, to really give it a benefit in, in search rankings, okay? You can see this one, our system's telling us it's 630 words, 634 words. Uh, when I first wrote this post, it was about 250, and in, in our system, it showed a big old red button, and it said, it's 250, you need to get over 300. So when, when I wrote some more content in there, it turned green, like bam red to green and that tells me I'm good to go, right? So you also want outbound links on your page if possible. What an outbound link is, it's simple. You have, you have a link on your page linking to another link on your website or another website totally. So you can see here, here we've got a link just to our home page with a keyword in there. And then we have a link to our application, our online application for renters, okay? So that was two links and, and our system told it was good. You wanna make sure that your keyword the one that we that we chose before appears in, in the first paragraph of your of your website of your page. Okay, initially I didn't have my keyword in the first paragraph of my page. This was red. I went up here, and you can see right here now my keyword is the very first thing: Klamath Falls Apartments. That's the very first thing on my page. Okay, I saved it. It turned green. Um, keyword density. So you want your keyword density to, to be not too high. It, what I mean by that is you don't want to put that keyword that we chose too many times in your website. And a keyword density of around 1%, 1.5% is pretty darn good. You can see for me, uh, I, I put it in here seven times is all. So you don't really have to cram your website with keywords. In fact, Google doesn't like that. They'll, they'll penalize you for it. Um, another really important thing, guys, you, and, and like I said, write notes on these things. I'm going to rattle through them because each one of these are things that will help your website rank better. And if you're not doing these, you're missing out. And, and you use, use tools out there, guys. There's all kinds of tools out there to help you. Uh, rank better. Uh, investor care is just one. And you know, this one, we've built it once again to where we tell you what you need to do to your page. So there's no guesswork. You don't have to be an SEO expert. All you have to do, know how to do is go find a keyword and put it in here. And we'll tell you how to rank, make your website optimized. But uh, you want to make sure that your meta description up here has your primary keyword, which is what we showed before. Um, I want to make sure that, da, 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 da. let's see, you want to make sure that your keyword is in uh, some of your subheadings in your website. So what a subheading is, 
is this right here. Here's a heading, so you can see our keyword right there. And then here's a subheading, okay? And here's another subheading. Here's a subheading. And you can see our system said your keyword is in one of four subheadings. And you want to have it in at least one of your subheadings. So you can see right there, Clown Falls Apartments. And uh, we're good to go. It gave us a green mark for that. And let's see, let's see if there's a couple other things that you can be doing in your pages. Da, 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 da. Okay, so one other last thing here, guys, is what I, I mentioned this briefly, and sorry about the background noise. It's our, our street down, downtown. I mentioned this briefly before when, when I was going over the different ranking factors for SEO, that after you've optimized the page, showing you know, doing the things I just mentioned to you, uh, you reverse, reverse this video if you have to to write those things down. Um, after you've done that, you want to make sure that your actual URL to that page is search engine friendly. Okay, and what I mean by that is if you're writing a blog post and you want that blog post to rank well for investment properties in Phoenix, you should make your actual URL uh, have investment properties in Phoenix in it. Okay, so I'm just going to pretend like I'm adding a new page to this this website. And like I said, you can do this in any system, guys. You can do it on WordPress. You could do it on uh, your own website you make, whatever it is. I'm showing you the concepts behind it. So let's say you want it to rank well for investment properties in Phoenix. Number one, it's going to be a hard search term to rank well for because it's high, high, highly, highly competitive. I'm just going to type some dummy content in here. Okay. So what you're going to want to do is you want to make sure that the link to that page, that specific page, has your keywords in it. Okay. So you can see here, here is my permalink. It's, that's called a permalink, Investment Properties in Phoenix. There is my keyword. You wouldn't want it to say something like um, my... My blog post here, okay, because your keywords are nowhere to be found. So Google's not going to like that. They're not going to give you a benefit of the doubt and help you rank better. So make sure that your keyword ideally is somewhere in your URL. Make sure your URL is as short as it possibly can be. Take out all the fillers. Take out the word it. Take out the word or, stuff like that, okay? So that is the essence of, of this quick SEO training. And like I said, take those keywords that we've already done the research for you and plug them in your website, okay? We've already done the research. We already show you how many times they get searched in Google. All you got to do is go and take the keyword, put your city before or after it, and optimize it on your page, similar to what I just showed you, how we did on, on this carrot uh, website, okay? This investor carrot system. If you have your own website, if you're using WordPress or if you, if you have your own website, you can do the same darn thing, guys. Change your title tag like I showed you before to have that main keyword in it. So it could be sell houses fast in Seattle. So this would be sell houses fast Seattle. Take your SEO, uh, you make your make your title tag sell houses fastest in Seattle dash maybe we buy houses Seattle okay and so you're using two keywords in your title tag and then your meta description will be looking to sell your house fast in Seattle well we buy houses in Seattle uh, you know just ch check out our website and we'll submit you an offer that right there is helping you optimize big time so for this for that customer I was mentioning before who went from page 19 in Google uh, to uh, he actually was number one and number two in Google for the past three months. Then this recent Google update is kind of shaking up some things, and he's 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 moving around a little bit. So in the next few weeks, he'll probably stabilize. He's still on page one in Google, guys. And all we did that took him from page 19 and getting no traffic, no leads, to number one in Google, and now he's on page one, bouncing around a little bit because the recent update is exactly what I showed you. We picked the keywords by doing the quick research, or just grab them, guys. Uh, the keywords that we rank, that we ranked him for are directly out of the keyword bible and all we did is we, we went to his website and we took you know we buy houses and put the name of his state okay we buy houses connecticut and then we went through and created sep separate pages on his website that are about these other keywords that people are typing in we uh, create one called we buy ugly houses connecticut we buy houses ct um, and then after doing that, we uh, optimize the, the content on the pages uh, using the same principles I showed you here, making sure that your keyword appears in the first paragraph and it appears enough, you know, that the keyword density is enough to where it's in there, but not too many times. And the keywords in your page title and the keywords in your, your picture alt tags. And all that means is all of your pictures uh, should have what's called an alt tag, which has your keyword in it somewhere. Um, and then we saved it. And that's it, guys. We didn't drive any links. We didn't do any social media. We didn't do any fancy stuff. Just on-page optimization, like I showed you, using the keyword Bible, using the uh, keyword mind reader. 
and then using, he uses Carrot, but you can do this on any system. Okay, so let's bounce back to the presentation and close this puppy out. I appreciate you for, for hopping on here. So coming next, guys, coming after this video, we've got a free training on creating effective lead pages. So stay tuned. Check your email box from us. It'll be from Trevor Mock or Investor Carrot. And download the lead page template that's converting anywhere between 15 and 40% depending on the market for both buyers and sellers. And we'll show you why it works. We'll show you how to get yours online for free. We'll even get it, we'll give you the actual download to that lead page so you can then put it online. We'll show you easier ways to get it online as well. So keep an eye out in the next couple of days and please, please, please hit me with comments below. Hit me with your URLs. We'll do quick SEO reviews. Hit me with your questions. And if you want to take the guesswork out of SEO, uh, just go ahead and hop over to oncarrot.com, O-N-C-A-R-R-O-T.com. Try our Investor Carrot inbound uh, marketing software for investors and start using your SEO grader that I showed you today. Or just take the concept I taught you today and put them to work in your own website. I thank you for hopping on today's training call. We'll see you in a couple days.